Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial we're going to go step by step on how to transfer a product from Shopify to ClickFunnels. Now there's a, a bit of series of process that you have to do to go to ClickFunnels from Shopify. So we're gonna go through literally step by step and how I actually did uh, my first uh, ClickFunnels um, template with Shopify. So you're gonna learn how to set up a, a funnel in the ClickFunnels for a product. Um, then you have to also add Stripe account for payments, which I use. There's other uh, payment uh, gateways, but um, the one I'm using is Stripe. Then also how to transfer your domain from Shopify to ClickFunnels. It's not literally transferring the domain, but actually kind of creating in Shopify and then transferring that to click funnel so it can redirect the funnel from Shopify domain so let's just get started right into it without wasting time so this is the um, I'm inside my click funnel right now and this is what uh, I've been working on so far but um, pretty much you need to have your click funnel account created which is um, I have the 14 day trial right now um, it's free so if you sign up to that it's where you would come up so I just want to quickly show you what I have created so far this is what I have uh, for myself it's very straightforward you can change up literally all these wording this is a template that I got when I first signed up for ClickFunnels so I just changed up some wording and um, pretty much added what I needed to add for my product um, it's everything is um, customizable you can change literally all of these things put in whatever you want you can add a few things but um, so I'm just gonna jump right into my shipping point because I have to still set up the whole funnel so this is how it kind of looks like when you first sign up this is what you will receive um, all these set uh, with this template so I'm not gonna change up the template because I'm gonna use the same template for my product and uh, I'm gonna go from there so I had free shipping this is another OTO, which pretty much means upsell. Um, so I'm gonna change um, the free shipping if they want to do an express shipping, which is priority shipping. They can they can get their product. Um, get their product uh, in seven to ten business days. So I'm gonna change this pricing to eight ninety seven if they want to purchase it. But uh, this is pretty much uh, what it is. So yeah, it's, uh, it says uh, yes, upgrade my each priority shipping, which is uh, I guess is pretty good. But um, you can change. You can see that you can change all of these uh, settings here. You have all of these uh, changeable, customizable, you know, settings. But again, for this tutorial and for this product that I'm gonna be testing myself. I'm I'm gonna change that but but of course I need to change my logo so I'm gonna go ahead and change my logo put that in there I um, need the size to change it 60 okay, and it's in the center all right so yeah that's whatever but uh, I think I'm gonna change the color of it background because my 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 logo is black, so this should be a little bit white. Oh, white is good enough. Yeah, that's good. All right, so yeah, change up all my bottom stuff. Pretty much straightforward. Just follow along. Put in what your logo is. Put in what uh, you need to put in. But at this point, you should have your click funnel in. Um, you should have a Shopify website that you were using. That you would like to switch to. So I'm gonna change this color as well make this um, a little bit grayish oh. yeah. Yeah. anyways um yeah so this is pretty much um, what you need to do to set up um, a click funnel template um, again this is something we received once you sign up when you sign up as well you will receive uh, this template so you can go ahead and whatever template you want um, again this is for testing purposes it's all about test trial 
test. See to see which one runs better and then you go ahead with that. So again, this is my first click funnel, so bear with me as I'm going through these settings myself. Um, I don't think I would be needing hate on the Yeah, I don't know, this is a special offer. Um, again, depending on what you're, you want, you're selling, um, you can upsell more to what, what you want, but for this purpose, I am not going to add that. But again, you can add more um, OTO, which pretty much means, pretty much means, um, you can add all these upsells after they purchase the initial purchase of the product. So let's go into confirmation. All right. So this is where they will, once they have clicked order and then they went around with the shipping. Now this is what they receive. So go okay, ten. Okay, let me change that. 10, Fourteen days. I should change the free shipping. So I'm gonna change twenty. Five and then land is fine. Good enough. Um, all right, so you will receive the back number. Okay, good and dynamic updated. All right, how do I change this? This is something you need to change because this is where it reflects your product. Um, and I don't know how to do that right now, but again. This is first time me setting up my first funnel from Shopify, so I'm just gonna change up my logo right now. And then worry about that later. Alright, so just upload this one, make this 160, set this at the uh, center, change up the background. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Change up the background and it's not matching. It's a little bit grayish, actually. And that's good enough, actually. Yeah. All right. So change up that. Change up the logo here. Okay. Sixty. Put in my email address. Um, so, again, these settings, you need to have um, your Click funnel account to, to, to be able to create um, this. Um, again, it's 14 day free trial. You can jump into it, see if, uh, if it works out for you, if you like it, then you can definitely uh, stick with it. It's for $97 um, per month that I, I signed up for. I'm still under my 14 day period. So I'm, I'm just right there with you right now. So no. All right, now, terms and conditions. So uh, you, you need to, um, you need to obviously, this thing already comes like preloaded. Um, and the best thing they, they tell you is you can literally hold control N, F, uh, and then f wherever there it says uh, your company name, you can literally change that to your name. So that's what we're gonna do. We're not going to change the terms and conditions, so we're just going to work with this. Your company name. All right, so we have uh, about eight of those here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead. Yeah, we don't need that there. We're going to delete that piece, so we're going to keep this. This is going to be my Walmart, and yeah, I'm just going to copy this and change wherever it is required. Okay, so once you get here, you want to get rid of that. You don't need that there. So once that's done, save it. Um, get out to the back, um, the main page here. And now you want to repeat that same step for all these um, conditions and policies. So we're going to do the same step here. We're going to find um, your company name 
and then we're gonna replace it with the uh, your company name <laughs> so go ahead and do that and there's also an email here so wherever it says email at uh, your company dot com obviously put in your email address that's associated with your company name so we're gonna go ahead and do this for this and the other sections as well Alright, so at this point in shipping policy, we're just gonna look at a um, few things that we changed. It's, um, it's a little different here. We just wanna make sure that our free shipping is what we're mentioning. It's 25 days. Um, obviously, if it's priority shipping, same thing. These are the countries we can't ship to. Um, we can just leave that there. But I'm pretty sure this please click here is something we need to. Uh, check in but we will do this later for this purpose I think we're good on this part so let's uh, finish up this one now um, looks like um, our basic template has been pretty much completed so let's click on launch checklist so this is where um, it shows what you have and what you need um, so obviously now it comes down to adding our domain let's do this okay so go into your Shopify account first go into domains and then subdomains and then create a product name in the subdomain so this is uh, it's is crucial because you want to have a subdomain created for that funnel um, so that way you can uh, direct uh, redirect it to the funnel so obviously it's set up in the process now you create a new domain but then you use existing domain and then over here you put in the, the URL that you just created and then once you have that done please uh, check that and then choose the funnel name that you have all right and then associate the funnel to that now you should be able to um, see the funnel at its best on that link there you go so the funnel, um, the funnel that we created, um, it's here. Um, it's live on that uh, subdomain um, that you just created on Shopify. So everything is set up um, as we did. I'm just gonna put in some information just to test it myself um, to see how this uh, comes out. So next step. Ooh, what is this? So let's see okay so of course you can see that there's few things I need to change um, on the second step of this um, uh, shipping form so it says yes uh, my miracle trap tarp so I need to change this this is obviously not part of my deal and uh, I did not get to work on this but um, so far the funnel is working, the link is working, we have got that set up. Oh, I need to change the dynamic updated uh, as well. So let's jump right into it, see what we can do to make these changes. Okay, so after a couple of minutes of uh, playing around with the software, I finally found out that it's actually an advanced tab. There's a... Um, Toggle order bump. That's what it is. You just want to hide that toggle order bump. It depends on what you're doing, but you can um, use the bump to make more sales on your um, on your product. But that was the reason why that was showing there. So that is now being taken care of, as you can see. But I still have to figure out this dynamic update and the dollar amount. I think I'm not sure, so I have to look into this leaf is just because I don't think I have added a product yet let's see so we do need to create a um, payment system so we're just gonna go ahead and create a stripe account and um, I'm just gonna create one for myself right now so this way we can add this to our funnel um, just gonna go quickly over this pretty much have this verified all right, once you have uh, your Stripe account ready to go, 
once you have your uh, Stripe account verified, go into your ClickFunnels and into Payment Gateways. And then over here in a bunch of options of payments, uh, you want to click on Stripe. Um, we don't have anything, so we're just going to go ahead and create a new one. And then for the name, just choose whatever name you want uh, for the Stripe account. Choose the default setup and then um, just want to connect it. So it's going to take you to back to Stripe. And here you want to fill out your details about your bank information, your website and all that information for you to be able to get paid. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and uh, you do it yourself and then we're going to get back into ClickFunnels. Alright, once you have your um, Stripe uh, ready to go, it's all set up. Let's go back into our funnel. Um, our payment game gate gateway is ready to go. So let's uh, find funnels here and uh, find the one you just created. And we're going to um, add now the product uh, where we left off. So it, when you click on add product, you should be able to see the Stripe account there. That's the good one. Um, so we're going to create a name. So choose your product name. Um, and then choose your billing system to Stripe what you created. Choose an amount that you would want uh, for that product to be displayed. Um, do you remember that where it said uh, dynamically updated and then the XX uh, amount? This is where that information uh, is uh, coming from. So you want to um, choose in your information. Um, whatever is this, I'm um, not sure. Select this. Oh, this is the bump order that we talked about. So right now at this um, tutorial and this product that I'm trying to use, I am not going to bump anything and this is just one time offer. You can have this uh, set up for subscription as well. Once you have um, pretty much all this information filled out, yes you want uh, product limited uh, um, maximum quantity. But uh, yeah, once everything is filled out, you want to come out once you save the product into automation. Um, this is something that I just noticed. I received an email after I was test uh, trying it and these are preloaded um, email templates that come with the, this template. Um, and I received this email. I actually received this email at uh, 0 0.2 hours, which is about 20 minutes. Um, and I received this email. So we have to set this up um, to what your product is reflecting. We want to make sure that um, the logo and all this information in these emails that is going to follow up with our potential client um, is reflecting towards our product or else if we don't do that then obviously they're going to see that hey this is something else that they're receiving and it might come out to be as a spam. So. Um, look into the automation tab and change up all this information to what you want um, in your email to be um, make sure you are obviously pointing your links towards your product and uh, there's not a single thing that is showing that is not gonna be um, to do with your product so i'm gonna go ahead and change up uh, for this um, template and bunch of other two um, uh, templates that we have so we want to make sure that you do that uh, for yourself as well all right so at this point um, after you're changing up your emails um, automation list um, you pretty much are concluded with um, how to create a Shopify product into a click funnel and how to transfer information um, from uh, Shopify to click funnel um, this is pretty much where we finish up our tutorial for today. Um, next time uh, we will talk about how to implement Facebook pixel and then Facebook marketing into this click funnel and kind of test our product and um, our funnel from um, how it's doing and what changes we need to create. All right, guys, thanks so much again. Um, please subscribe and thumbs up. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.